The calendar widget is one of the new tools of Evernote 10. And because it's a new feature, we all have a lot to learn. Today, my plan is to show you 10 hidden gems that can help you be even more productive with the Evernote calendar. Let's go to the computer. Okay, let's start with the basic. The calendar widget can be set to three different sizes. I like the large size, but you can change it clicking in Customize and then hovering your mouse and selecting the size you want. Let's set it back to the large size. I like the large size because of the two views. I can follow up with all the upcoming appointments. And there's a monthly view on the left side that I can use to go to a different date. But here's a tip for you. If you need to jump to a date way in the future, let's say next year or I don't know, the end of this year, you don't need to use the arrows. You can click the month and select, let's say December and click on the year and December 2025, for example. Did you know that one? Let's say you prefer a smaller size. Let's use, for example, the medium size widget. This one and the smaller one, they don't display the monthly calendar. But no worries, there's a hidden option here. If you click the display date, you see the calendar and you can move to a different date or use the trick I just showed you, move to a month in the future or in the past and also a year in the future or in the past. Like I have already mentioned it, I prefer the large calendar size, but it doesn't matter the size. If you click the calendar name on the top of the widget, you get a pop-up window with the monthly view, the daily view, and all the calendars you have connected to Evernote. With so many options to move around, wouldn't it be nice to have a way to jump back to today's view? There is. It doesn't matter if you're using the small, the medium, or the large size widget. You can click the calendar on the upper right corner and it will bring you back to today. Have these tips been helpful for you so far? I'd appreciate a thumbs up. Let's keep going. When I started using this widget, the first thing that came to my mind was, why don't we have the option to make it double the height? It will be easier to see all the meetings, like if it was a Google Calendar. I don't know if that's coming someday, I would like to see it, but for now, what you can do is click the three dots and change the view to list view. This will create a list of all your entries. I believe that you already know that all the details from Google Calendar are in Evernote Calendar. I have links for meetings in Zoom, Meet and others. I have the participants of that meeting and all the information in this little box. But did you know that you don't need to go to the note to find that information? Instead of clicking on the note, click anywhere in the entry and you see a pop-up with all that information. You can even go to the linked note from here, create a note for that event, a new note, link a note, find related notes, and open it in Google Calendar. By default, every time you create a new note linked to an entry, you get a pre-formatted note. Some of my students love it, others don't like it, I don't like it, and if you don't like it, don't worry, there's a way to turn it off. Go back to Home, click the three dots, Calendar Settings, and disable it here. Now, every time you create a new node, it's gonna be a blank node. It will only have the calendar entry. I don't know about you, but I wish we could select and use one of our template nodes instead of using this pre-formatted note. Hey Evernote, are you listening? Can we have that in the future? <laughs> This one I use all the time. Let's say you want to find all your notes with calendar entries attached to it. You can go to the notes view, select the filter and then contains calendar events. Now you have all the notes with calendar events. You can even add 
other options. Let's say located in the trips notebook, but only the ones with the tag VIO. All the six notes, they have a calendar entry. They are in my trips notebook and they have the tag for the city bill ball. By the way, if you wanna learn how I organize my trips in Evernote, check the video in the description below. And since we are talking about other videos, have you watched my video about Evernote search? There's an entire segment there about advanced search, search operators. And there is a search operator for calendar events. So let's clear this and I'll type here, contains calendar event. There you have it, 13 nodes with calendar event. And of course you can combine this with other search operators. If you didn't watch the other video, watch it. Search operators are very powerful and they are an excellent companion to the filtered notes widget. There are two types of notifications you can get from Evernote. If you already have a note linked to an entry, the notification will invite you to open that note. If you don't have a note linked to that entry, the notification will invite you to create a new note. Let me show you the settings. Click the three dots, calendar settings, and here you have it. So here you have, remind me to take notes and remind me to open notes. You can set that for the desktop, the mobile, both or none. And you can also select how long before or after the meeting. But hold on, stay with me for a moment. You will only get notifications from your main Google Calendar. Let me show you what it's like here in Google Calendar. This is my main calendar. This is the one I'll get notifications from. And this is a secondary calendar. You can have multiple calendars like this one in Google Calendar, and they will be available here in Evernote. You can even link notes to them, but you will only get notifications from the main calendar. If you have multiple Google accounts connected to your Evernote, you get notifications from the main calendar of each account. Now I invite you to watch this video. It's a real life use case that will help you understand how powerful the calendar widget is. And if you learned something useful today, I'd appreciate a thumbs up.